Good, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to another science class under your belt. Uh, how'd you feel about it overall? Well, um, very excited just because just you, you think about how much work goes into this in springtime. And, uh, and then as you're getting to know your class and, and going through the, in all the schools and then finally the visits. And, it, you know, going through that filtering process and then when it finally, uh, that's why it's such a great, exciting day of celebration because you've, you've spent a lot of time getting to know these guys. And so when they finally come in and they're officially Cougars, it's, uh, it's a lot to celebrate. So we're, you know, we're excited just because we, we, uh, we have our little model on how we do things and, and you to have those kids, it's, yeah. it's exciting. You know, it's exciting. You have a lot of momentum going forward after the year you guys had a year ago, 11-1. and one. You were ranked in both national polls, number 16 in D2Football.com, 11 and one season, super year. How did that? Mo how did the momentum of that season and the fact that you had 21 straight winning seasons yeah. come into affect uh, your class and, and the kids that were looking at USL? Yeah, I think that you know our recruits like it, but I also think they like the the being in a program that doesn't uh, feel feel like they're uh, that was good enough. You know, I think I noticed. You know, with a lot of our uh, kids, you know, feeling like you know, 11 and one was great, but it, but it wasn't good enough. Or you, cut, you know, that's kind of our theme this year. You know, is finishing, and um, you know, you know, not not good enough. You know, and so you know, I think our recruits paid attention to the fact that we have some unfinished business, and they want to be a part of uh, uh, success. I think success is a big deal, uh, but I, I like the fact that we're not complacent out here either. You know, it's something you won't hear too much of our kids talk about. We acknowledge and say thank you because that's a great honor um, to have those things. But you know we have a goal around here to um, to win the whole thing. You know that's kind of where where we're at. One of the things that's very uh, indicative of your coaches is how hard they work and how much time and effort that they put into it. You want to give some kudos out to well, your coaches? Well, there's no question. Staff? And I, I, you know, the thing about it is, is number one, you know, we have a sign up there that says it's all about family, and it starts with us as a staff. I mean, these kids genuinely love their players. When they get to know these recruits, um, you know, I will be the first to tell you, um, as a head coach, um, you know, my my. Uh, our success around here is based on on these these assistant coaches, the strength coach and Coach Mathers and his his staff. Um, you know, he, he, coaches get too much credit, and uh, you know, and you ought to see the uh, the genuine uh, comments I get back from recruits' parents as they as they, they chose us because of the, the genuine relationships they had with uh, with uh, with the coaches and, and uh, their their kids feeling very comfortable with that. So I can't be proud of them enough. You know, talking about the class a little bit, uh, can you break it down for us? How do you, how did it break down? It looks like there was a pretty good balance offensively and defensively, right? Yeah, you know, we we kind of, um, you know, obviously you set up your needs in the spring and say, okay, this is who we, the, the positions we got to go after, um, and then you know, I think, you know, af in athleticism, you know, there'll, there'll be some kids that you know in high school played a certain position, but they're just so highly athletic. Uh, they're coming here, uh, you know, as an athlete, for example, um, you know, so when you look at, uh, you know, character first, I mean, that's one thing I love about this class. You look at academics, you look at character, because that, that carries over to the off season. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, people might recruit people, you know, kids on film that, that have a good season and maybe they can last the season, but we got to recruit kids that can make it through an off season. And that's really where wins and losses are, are, are made. And, and, and that's what we feel like in this class is a bunch of uh, hard-working uh, character guys that, um, that will be a great fit for kind of who we are. You have a couple of transfers coming in. They're already in school. Do um, you want to talk about any, them in terms of they'll be part of your, your deal moving forward with spring ball and everything and building momentum going into the fall? Yeah, that's something we, you know, what I like is, like I said, it's all about family. You know, it's it's fun to see kids come into our program that might uh, uh, transfer in here and leave as though they've been here for four years. Um, it's probably one of the greatest feelings uh, to see how our team accepts them, how they come here and find a, a family. Uh, it's something we don't uh, we don't shy away from. Um, you know, it's a it's a it's a great thing uh, for kids to come in here because I think other than just winning and having the the success on the field, you know, it's kind of fun to see these guys' stories and and what they come from and and all kinds of backgrounds and locations and they leave here um, 
as proud uh, cougars, you know, and uh, with, a, with a job and a, and a degree, it's pretty cool. And so we've added a couple more kids that I think are going to be great fits for us. And you know, are already here, and our team loves them already, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. The chemistry is amazing, not only between your coaching staff and your players and moving forward, and now we've got, you know, we've got a family of alums that, and, and, and supporters of this program. What do, you, what do you tell them about this class and, and, and why they should feel really proud? And we do a lot with the hashtag Goop Ride now, and yeah. there's a lot there. And talk about that. Well, I think it's uh, being authentic and genuine. Um, you know, if there's anything I'm more proud of is just the amounts of email I get from people in this community about how they ran across one of our players or, or uh, you know, some kid randomly stopped and scooped somebody's uh, driveway and, and didn't even tell them who they were, but the person knew who they were. And, and you get emails like that of, of kids that, that do things randomly that aren't even asked and, and how they conduct themselves in, in a restaurant uh, when we're on the road. or You know, alumni are proud when they have a team that represents uh, their university like I feel like our team does and that's one thing I'm proud of you know when you recruit great character and you recruit great kids um, you know and, and they love uh, you know they love representing our school that's what I'm most proud of and uh, and, and I think that's why we have you know our, our alumni are so proud of these guys yeah they love the winning and, and they love the, the coming to games and, and, and love being proud of that but I think it's off the field stuff too that they're really proud of.